From the EPP meeting in snowy Helsinki just a few weeks ago to sunny Brussels, where the EPP leaders are holding their regular summit ahead of the European Council. It has been dubbed a spring summit for financial stability as the leaders put together the final elements for the Euro Pact. EPP President Martins has also said it is a tipping point for the new era of the social market economy, an invention of the centre-right based on EPP values. We caught up with some of the leaders for their thoughts during the summit. I think it's going to, uh, it's, it's going to have um, implications for the European Union, provided the members of the European Union believe in the, in, in the pact and what it can actually do. And I think that's an issue for the different countries of Europe, because they reflect differently on aspects of the Lisbon Treaty. Now, in the past we had the Lisbon Agenda, which failed. Europe did not measure up in that regard. The, the new competitiveness pact will make a difference in terms of recognition of professional uh, qualifications, in recognition of the difficulties around pensions, in recognition of the advantages of having really competitive countries. We cannot uh, have development and uh, a new stage of growth uh, without um, financial stabilization. Uh, I strongly believe that um, the new package uh, can bring more strong uh, and cohesion uh, to European countries. The EPP's five-point plan established in Helsinki inspired many components of the Euro Pact. I think it proves that Christian democratic ideas are really the ideas of the new century. I mean, um, joining both competitiveness, uh, giving chances to people that want to, uh, to invest and want to go forward in, in their personal lives, and on the other hand, taking into account the sorrow, the concerns of the people that have more difficulties, this is the real personalist idea of the Christian Democrats. The EPP said it will also use all political means to support freedom and democracy in Libya and to help the people of Japan. Yesterday I met the Japanese ambassador in Ireland. Just because Japan has always measured up in the top five or six in terms of economic strength in the world, their people are now suffering a massive humanitarian crisis. Uh, Ireland, as a small country, has given, uh, has given aid and has made available our supplies uh, in the Far East um, uh, if they are required. Uh, we hope that Europe will contribute greatly to the plight of the Japanese people. I think, first of all, we need to... Um to avoid what's happening now, the bloodshed organized by Mr. Gaddafi and uh, so Belgium and other countries, we are engaged now in uh, uh, preserving no-fly zones, uh, in protecting people on the ground also. So I think this is the, the first thing to do now and we hope that uh, within a couple of days we will see the results in Libya, that uh, people will have the possibility to uh, be more safe. And the second step is, uh, of course, when... Uh, let's say a war has finished to restore confidence, to restore the economy, and there the European Union has a very important key role to play. It's also at the benefit of the uh, European people because uh, when Libya is doing well, economically spoken, then we will avoid uh, the flows of uh, migrant people from Mali, from Chad and other countries. To help reconstruction of the country, transformation of the country, building some structure of good government, of rule of law, the most important thing, and maybe one day even democracy. The EPP was particularly happy to welcome Yulia Tymoshenko. The Ukrainian authorities had put a travel ban on the former prime minister, preventing her from attending the last few European meetings. Ну, в першу чергу, я дуже дякую ЕПП всій родині нашої партійній за солідарність, тому що якщо б не їх підтримка, якщо б не підтримка пана Мартінса, всіх лідерів, навряд чи я змогла б бути сьогодні на саміті. По суті, це під ультиматумом Європейської народної партії, лідерів Європейського Союзу, сьогодні я можу бути на саміті. Більшість громадян України багато десятиліть живуть з мрією про європейську перспективу. Вони присвячують в тому числі і своє життя, і свою роботу тому, щоб в Україні мали бути цінності європейські і щоб ми дійсно стали невід'ємною частиною європейської родини. На жаль, рік тому Україна сіла в потяг, який іде в зворотньому напрямку від наших європейських перспектив. І сьогодні я хотіла би об'єднати зусилля європейської спільноти, громадянського суспільства в Україні, нас як опозиції, для того, щоб зберігти для України європейську перспективу і безумовно на базі європейських цінностей. The very recent fall of the socialist government in Portugal hints at early elections in the next couple of months. 
Polls show that the PSD leader Coelho looks set to win. I hope that uh, new elections can bring a strong government, a new strong government, uh, more committed uh, about um, the goals of uh, fiscal consolidation, um, giving more trust to the, to the markets and to the people. Ireland's new Taoiseach Enda Kenny also spoke to us about the work his government is preparing. We have a new government with a very strong mandate, uh, with a very clear majority to implement our programme for government. That programme is based on a few fundamentals. And number one, restoring our public finances to good health. Number two, providing employment for our people. And number three, rebuilding Ireland's status and reputation, both at home and abroad. That's why I'm here at the EPP. That's why we've had several ministers already talk to their counterparts in Europe. That's why I went to Washington on St. Patrick's Day and spoke directly to President Obama. Uh, and as you know, he's coming to Ireland in the month of May. We have a, a series of big challenges up ahead, uh, but then that's why we were elected. Uh, and for that purpose, we will implement our programme for government with a degree of energy, but also with courage uh, and with fairness. This is about people at the end of the day. Uh, and we do want to give our people not just hope, but a demonstration that good politics actually does work. Very useful meeting uh, because, in a rather informal way, we can exchange our views and then work uh, much more together. And this is, is very important, it creates some synergy for our European People's Party. I think it's very important that we know we are not alone, that uh, quite a lot throughout of Europe share our views. The message from the European People's Party on the economy, the ongoing situation in Libya and the tragic disaster in Japan is that they are on the side of the people and they will do everything they can to support them. I'm Gemma Slaymaker from My EPP TV. Thank you for watching.